So, over in the blue corner is my friend and colleague, Miss Cassandra Schum, maybe soon to be friend of me. Oh. Microservices! Who's rooting for this side? Blue side, blue side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And in the red corner, we have the grumpy Brit, myself, Rachel, who's like, come on, seriously? Fine. All right. But I think I can start off. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Microservices. <laughs> what the? It's going to be a good fight. I can feel it. I can feel it. All hyped so, up now. <laughs> let's go ahead with the first punch. Microservices. You can have the right tool for the job. Let's talk about a little bit around decentralized governance. This will allow us to have more autonomy on what tools we want to choose, mm -hmm. um, the appropriate data stores that we need, and different design patterns for, that actually suit our business needs. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be really great. I can maybe use Clojure in one of them. Ooh. But who, I mean, but who <laughs> says I'm not allowed to have flexibility in my code base? Why do I have to stick with the same old Java SQL? No offense. I use it a lot. But I don't want to be stuck with it for the next 10 years with no choice, no flexibility. But and it works. And we know it does. Yeah, but <laughs> I want to try other things. Well. All I hear when people say, ooh, the right tool for the job. I want to use Clojure. I'm like, great, more complexity. That's what I need as an architect, surely. More complexity is what I'm after. The thing is with a monolith is the tech stack is understood. With services or microservices using the right tool, I'm going to end with bazillions of tools and technologies and all different kinds of directory structures and deployment methods. Mm. And how do we hire for all these new types of skills that we have? And how do people move between teams and have some flexibility of where we put people, our resources? How do we support all this stuff? How do we work together? How do we refactor across IDE boundaries? All of this stuff just causes extra work. And for what purpose? Can't we just get really smart people? Oh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And guess what? I have to be some kind of monitoring god now. Hmm. Because, you know, having testing one service or determining that the monolith is working, it's, you know, it's fairly straightforward. If there's a bug in my system, guess where it is? It's in the monolith. That's great. But how do I detect failures across services? How do I ensure that an entire transaction was successful? Knowing that one service is up and it's just it's it's not good enough. Is it being used anymore? Is it a bottleneck for all these reliant transactions? Is it talking too much? This is all really challenging and issues that I don't have to deal with in the monolith architecture. I don't have to instrument all the things. It's so imperative that in this silver bullet that you're trying to explain to me right now, that monitoring becomes a first-class concern. And I have to log everything in a clear and a format that I can aggregate. I'm sorry, most of the logs I've seen are just like, here be dragons. I'm like, yeah, well, aggregate that. 